Just carnivores. There's no biting off more than you can chew in the world's deadliest hunger games. to feed, especially when each mouth can wolf down 20 pounds of meat per meal. So how do they fuel those massive appetites? By killing everything. Small game just won't cut it. Wolves will work together to take down prey up to 10 times their own size. On today's menu, Bison. As if guided by one mind, the wolves close in from all sides, scoping out the youngest and weakest potential targets. Then, the killer lupines whip the herd into a frenzy. The first to fall prey is a young calf. Just an appetizer. The other half of the pack drives a weak old-timer into the river. And now it's time for some waterside dining. Each animal is constantly on the lookout for an opportunity to feed. But the lean winter months can put kinship to the test. When packmates succumb to the elements and prey is practically non-existent, wolves have been known to take the concept of family feast to its most gruesome extreme. It just goes to show, when it comes to feeding the beast, wolves are at the top of the food chain. In Argentina, sea lions are teaching the valuable skill of swimming to their pups. They're slow, juicy, delicious pups. For one voracious predator, it's a meal too tempting to pass up. Just like the deadly wolves, orcas are fearsome pack hunters. And if you're one of the animals they call prey, Watch out. Killer whales are actually a kind of dolphin. The biggest kind of dolphin. Weighing up to six tons, these apex predators can scarf down nearly 500 pounds of fresh meat every day. Four-inch teeth can rip salmon to shreds. Even a poisonous stingray is on the menu. It's a dangerous meal, but the insatiable carnivores can't resist. Orcas can travel at 30 miles per hour and in pods up to 40 members strong. And when they find a school of heron, batter up. on the stunned fish like popcorn. Obviously, there's a lot of power in those tails. Just ask this seal. The impressive sky shot leaves the target dazed and defenseless. But not all of their prey is so easy to smack around. These are gray whales. 
It's hard to believe a kind of dolphin could take on a whale nearly two times its size. But this pot is hungry. And relentless. For their stomachs, the payoff is huge. And then, there are the sea lion pups. The eating machines nearly strand themselves to get the tasty critters on shore. So yeah, it would be fair to call orcas the wolves of the sea. But you can also call them the meanest, hungriest, bitiest, tail slappiest, most badass hunters of pretty much the entire ocean. The Arctic, miles of ice and treeless tundra. It's hard to believe anything could live here. But incredibly, this is the home of the largest carnivore on land. The polar bear. Up to 1,500 pounds, this huge predator is guided by a keen sense of smell. The bear's nose is so good and its appetite so enormous that it can detect a seal pup three feet under the ice from over a half mile away. A young seal like this is up to 75% fat. For the calorie craving bear, that's like a living, breathing cheesecake. There's no escape. Polar bears can consume 200 pounds of food in a single sitting. In this harsh climate, it pays to be a glutton. The next meal may be days away. A pod of beluga whales are trapped in the sea ice. Their small breathing holes put them close to the edges. Too close. The polar bear can't resist. Eventually, the beluga's injuries become too severe. And the Arctic king wins its royal prize. As the ice melts in the spring, the big bears reveal a hidden talent. They're excellent swimmers. Polar bears have been recorded swimming for nearly 10 days straight. One bear was so driven by its stomach it even traveled a staggering 426 miles. But sometimes a polar bear's eyes are bigger than its stomach. Here, the air is thick with the smell of walrus. Lots of walrus. At up to one and a half tons, the big bulls are way more than a mouthful and fully capable of killing the bear with their large tusks. But that doesn't deter this voracious predator. Especially since the calves are just the right size. It's a meal big enough to satisfy the giant bear. At least, for a while. Polar bears prove that the best way to remain the top predator in the Arctic is to eat. Eat and eat some more. In 1910, a Dutch lieutenant reported sighting large reptilian creatures roaming the mysterious islands of Indonesia. They possessed scales tough as chainmail, claws keen as knives, and a never-ending appetite for flesh. Old sea maps used to warn, here there be dragons. They very well may have been talking about Komodo dragons. Far from creatures of myth, these very real dragons can grow up to 10 feet in length 
and weigh over 300 pounds. That much mass requires a lot of fuel. And these lizards are gross consumers. Emphasis on gross. Deer, goats, oxen, bones, hooves, and hides. A ravenous Komodo eats it all. Up to 80% of its own body weight in one feeding. But that's why they can afford to be patient and cunning hunters. A Komodo targets its prey and delivers one venomous bite. The dragon then tracks the debilitated animal until it succumbs to the poison, which can take days. Some Komodos have to fight for their meal. When this vicious clash of the titans is over, one thing will be certain. The victor will have worked up an even mightier appetite. An appetite that even includes humans. In 1974, a Swiss baron disappeared on the island of Komodo after he fell behind his tour group. All that was found was his camera, a bloody shoe, and his hat. So the next time you visit the islands of Indonesia, you may want to heed that warning on those old sea maps. Because here there be dragons, and here they be hungry. But there are much bigger grumbling stomachs and biting teeth waiting just ahead. This killer meal is just getting started. In the Florida Everglades, a ravenous invader is gorging on the native wildlife. Deer populations have dropped over 90%. Possums, over 95%. And raccoons are down over 99%. Even bobcats are on the brink of disappearing forever. Who's the culprit behind this feeding frenzy? Public enemy number one, the Burmese python. One of the largest snakes in the world, the Burmese python can weigh close to 200 pounds and reach over 20 feet long. No Everglades mammal is a match for its unending hunger. The python strikes with pointed teeth. Then, coils around its prey, choking the life out of it. Finally, the serpent stretches its jaw and swallows its meal whole. Originally brought to the U.S. from Southeast Asia as pets, enough had either escaped or been released to begin rapidly breeding in the wild. There may already be over a hundred thousand pythons in Florida's wetlands. In 2012, the U.S. banned the import of Burmese pythons. Too late. Now the colossal snake's insatiable cravings are driving it closer and closer to Florida's residents. It seems nothing is safe from the python's killer appetite. Not even the American alligator. A fully grown gator is probably too much to handle. But a juvenile? This epic battle of bulging stomachs is raging across the Everglades. And the Burmese python is eating its way to top predator. Spiders are notorious for their killer appetites. But there's one eight-legged eater whose hunger is colossal. The Goliath bird eater spider. Up to an astonishing 12 inches across, 
This tarantula from South America shows that big spider equals big food. Like snakes, bats, rats, insects, and mice. The Goliath has weak eyesight, but it can sense vibrations in the air and through the ground with highly sensitive hairs. And right now, it feels dinner. Massive one-inch fangs inject the mouse with paralyzing venom. Then the spider regurgitates digestive juices that break down the rodent into a liquid meal. Mouse stew, anyone? And just in case you thought the name Bird Eater was false advertising, it's not. The Goliath earned its name by catching and consuming food as big as young birds. The Goliath Bird Eater is an impressive predator, and it takes a massive appetite to be the biggest and baddest spider in the world. Its Latin name is Gulo Gulo, meaning glutton. Native Americans call it the evil spirit. Both are accurate when describing the ravenous scourge of the North American and European tundra. The Wolverine. Though small in stature, it's the largest of the weasel family, with a bear-sized appetite. Both scavenger and predator, when it comes to food, this loner will fight any foe of any size. Even this much larger brown bear. The hungry little powerhouse has to be tenacious. It doesn't have the speed of much of its prey. But then, it won't stop the chase until it gets its meal. And whatever it can't eat in one sitting, it carries off to hide in a food cache even if the carcass is five times the wolverine's weight. With razor-sharp claws and special molars angled backwards at 90 degrees, the wolverine is armed and ready for the tough game of northern winters. And while it doesn't hunt in groups like many of our other wolf-like predators, it's perfectly willing to take on a hungry pack. These wolves don't realize it, but their latest kill isn't for them. They did the dirty work for him, and the boss is coming to collect. One Wolverine versus a pack of wolves. And incredibly, it's not even close. Looks like there's a new leader of the pack, and he's one hungry alpha dog. When it comes to killer appetites, it's hard not to mention sharks. But the great white shark? Been there, done that. There's another set of hungry jaws in the sea. And unlike the great white, they'll eat just about anything that comes their way. The tiger shark. At its largest, a tiger shark is 25 feet of fins, teeth, and stomach. And this underwater garbage disposal can devour most everything. Case in point, in Australia, researchers have attached a chum bag to the end of a metal pole. Will the shark bite? Before long, it takes the bait. And not long after that, it takes the pole. Shark teeth and a massive mouth shear the rod in half and swallow it whole. But this odd eating isn't just a fluke. Thankfully for these daring divers, attacks on humans are extremely rare. But then, maybe they should be more worried about their camera gear. Ever wonder what it would look like to get eaten by a shark? Like this. Only 
with a little more blood. <laughs> the list of inedible items found in Tiger Shark's guts includes license plates, oil cans, a fur coat, even a suit of armor. But when they're not going medieval on inanimate objects, Tiger Sharks do like a little protein in their diet. Like a Wild West Roundup, these Tiger Sharks corral a school of sardines into one giant spinning mass of easy pickings. there's one food these rapacious predators really seem to crave, it's albatross. Specifically, fledgling albatross that have yet to learn how to fly. Every year, tiger sharks turn these Central Pacific shallows into a seaside snack bar. to eat. For an oceanic omnivore that treats the world like an all-you-can-eat buffet, the other options are infinite. It's an apex predator with an appetite of epic proportions. strongest bite on earth. The croc's jaws can crush down with 3,700 pounds of force. With that power, it can make a meal out of anything it wants. Sea turtles, boars, even sharks. Ranging from Southern Asia to Australia, these notorious ambush killers are the largest crocodiles in the world, easily growing to 20 feet in length. In fact, the monster memorialized by this statue was reported to be over 28 feet long. That's big enough to make mincemeat of a one-ton water buffalo. Salties are long-distance swimmers that when driven by the need to feed, will migrate hundreds of miles out into open ocean. They're usually solitary, but there's one thing that can bring them together, food. And sometimes that unending group hunger leads to some pretty gruesome meals, like human beings. In 1945, during the Battle of Romre Island, over 1,000 Japanese troops fled into a swamp. Allied forces surrounded them, but the Japanese refused to surrender. Saltwater crocodiles did the rest. As few as 20 Japanese soldiers survived the onslaught. Between the Komodo dragon and the Burmese python, there's obviously stiff competition to the world's most voracious reptile. But that's just the kind of title the saltwater crocodile can sink its teeth into. Whatever it is that fish dream of, these guys dream bigger. Because to build aquariums like these takes a fishy mix. Yeah. Of big ideas, friendly rivalry. Let me get some water from us. This is insane. What's with the hiccup? He's just driving me nuts. And someone to think outside the bowl. The new season of Fish Tank Kings. Tonight at 6.50 on Nat Geo Wild.
This October, Nat Geo Wild brings out the fright and fun in the wild. Welcome to a world where everything is bizarre but real. From a two-headed snake to a downright freaky feast. We look at some of the freakiest, creepiest animals on the planet in Halloween Gone Wild. Ever wondered what the truth is behind the legend? Wonder no more as famous comedian Judah Friedlander, join me, takes us on a highly charged adventure and brings us face to face with the legends. Only this time the legends are monsters of the wild. The Monster Project. Muddy, foggy, and spongy. With hidden creatures lurking in the dark. Explore the unspoiled spectacular views of Swamplands. Matt Geo Wild brings out the fright and fun in the wild this October. Are you the new Colgate Slim Soft? Wow, your bristles are so slim. Thank you. I bet you can fit into everything. It's true. Look, see how slender. They're slim tip bristles. Only 0.01 millimeters. I easily slip in between teeth, even down along the gum line. You must be the envy of all other toothbrushes. Well, thin is in, honey. New Colgate Slim Soft for a deep and gentle clean. Colgate, recommended by dentists. Kill in the blink of an eye. Take down prey several times their own size. And whether it's over food, territory, or sex, the raw move could be fatal. When survival of the fittest is a cold and resolute rule of nature, the struggle is either for endurance or supremacy. Deadliest hunger race, tomorrow night at 8.40 on that Geo Wild. In the far reaches of the world, lurk bloodthirsty monsters. Look at the size of them. Terrorizing the villages. They fear for their lives. Killing livestock. I find accounts of a monstrous beast. It's one man's quest. My name is Richard Terry. To confront them. What happened? Ow! Whoa! Man versus monster. Next on Nat Geo Wild. The lion is a fierce predator with an appetite to match. No feast is too big for the king of the jungle. But there's one population of lions that are really deadly. The Savo lions of Kenya are identical to other lions in many ways. They're fierce hunters. And expert killers. But they look different. Their fur is darker. The males have distinct short manes. Taste for human flesh. In 1898, two Savo lions in East Africa ate a reported 135 railway workers. 135 railway workers eaten by two. Savo lions in only nine months. Today, the man-eating lions can be seen in Chicago's Field Museum exhibit, which proudly displays the preserved remains of the lions, nicknamed the Ghost and the Darkness. This feline flesh feast was originally thought of as a freak occurrence, but nearly 100 years later, it happened again. In 1991, a rogue Sado lion devoured six people in Zambia's Longwa River Valley. Some speculate the Sado lion's peckishness for people parts was caused by high testosterone levels. Others believe a toothache in one of the lions in the 1898 attacks may have convinced them to make an easy pantry out of the nearby workers' camp. One thing's for 
sure the lines of Sabo Canyon are official, confirmed, verified man eaters. Massive anacondas, deadly caiman. These are the killer appetites most people think of when picturing the Amazon. But there is another, even hungrier beast swimming in these waters. The giant otter. Sure, they may look cute, but these six foot long, 75 pound dynamos are ruthless feeders. Eating over a tenth of their own body weight every day. work together to keep the clan fed. Locals liken them to those other notorious pack hunters, even calling them Lobos del Rio, aka River Wolves. The otters use their sensitive whiskers to detect snacks of all sizes in the murky water. A meal is a good meal. But a huge catfish is even more enviable. Death never looked so adorable. A single family of giant otters can dominate a 12-mile stretch of river. And that means protecting their turf from the Amazon's other top predators. Remember the anaconda? It cowers in the face of the otter. But what about those deadly caiman? Not only do these killer reptiles compete for the same food, given a chance, they'll make a meal of an otter pup. That is, in theory. The giant otters team up to harass the caiman. And they're relentless. Overwhelmed, the reptile runs for calmer waters. Lucky it's not the otter's next meal. It makes sense that they're compared to wolves, because when they put their stomachs together, giant otters are the big dogs on the Amazon. But for those rare occasions when the giant otters don't clean their plates, there's another hungry mouth in the river, ready and willing to finish the job. Alone, it is just another fish, barely a blip on the radar of life. But when it gets together with a few of its friends, it becomes one big ravenous mass, and nothing in the water is safe. The piranha. Underwater terror of the Amazon basin. In South America, there are over 30 species of this killer fish. But it's the hungry red-bellied piranhas with the infamous reputations. Because when these vicious eaters dig in, they do so with the sharpest teeth of any piranha species. During feeding frenzies, each fish uses their interlocking shredders to take one huge chunk out of their prey and they don't even chew. Every meaty bite goes straight back to their bellies. Woodstork loses its footing. It's the last stumble it will ever make. Like hundreds of tiny daggers, 
The piranha teeth tear the waterfowl to shreds in seconds. It's enough food to keep a school of 10 to 20 fish fed for a day. But like most fish, piranha need to eat daily. Bad news for this capybara. It is the world's largest rodent. One whose frenzied splashing attracts some very hungry piranha. Why did the capybara cross the river? It didn't. Dozens of piranha sweep in, creating an underwater blender. The river boils as each fish takes a bite, then backs off to let the others in. It takes just 60 seconds for a school of these three pound fish to strip the massive capybara to the bone. While there are no verified human fatalities from piranha attacks, they have been known to bite fingers and toes clean off, bone and all. These aqua demons are so hungry, they're not even safe from themselves. When water levels are low and food scarce, they turn the food chain back on itself resorting to the most disturbing diet of all, cannibalism. The ravenous red-bellied piranha proved that once again, a collective killer appetite far outweighs an individual's hunger. Lurking in the depths of this Irish lake is a creature notorious for its bottomless appetite a real-life water monster, the Northern Pike. It's named for its resemblance to the deadly medieval weapon, because this is one deadly fish. The pike hunts with shocking speed. And a mouthful of needle-sharp teeth which keep it at the top of the freshwater food chain. In areas where it's an invasive species, the northern pike eats so much, it tends to decimate the ecosystem. But it doesn't just feed on fish. This gilt gobbler likes surf and turf. Before this bowl knows what's what, It's fish food, but the pike's hunger doesn't end there. It's even developed a taste for tender young waterfowl. This little duckling never stood a chance, taken down with just one bite. But what really gives the pike its gluttonous reputation? Unlike the piranha, it prefers to swallow prey whole, using its highly acidic stomach juices to digest large meals quickly, so it can eat again. But it's a method that can backfire. Pikes sometimes bite off more than they can chew choking to death on their oversized snacks. The Northern Pike. A fish infamous for its seafood diet. Because yes, it eats just about everything it sees. But you don't have to be a deadly predator to be in the world's deadliest hunger games. In the mountains of Eastern Africa, a bizarre but not uncommon sight. An animal bone falling from the sky. Where did it come from? And why? The answer begins on this craggy Ethiopian mountainside, where a flock of ravens has just finished picking the meat off this mountain goat carcass. 
there's an apex scavenger here that's much bigger and hungrier than them. It is the notorious bearded vulture. A brawny bird with a hunger for death. It doesn't spend its day hunting for live prey on which to feast. It wants what's beneath all that fur and muscle. The bones. The bearded vulture is the only bird in the world that primarily consumes bone. Specifically for the rich, nutritious marrow locked inside. And it's figured out how to get it out. The bearded vulture flies 200 feet above rocky ground. Then, it's bones away. The goat femur shatters into a dozen pieces. Marrow now exposed. The voracious vulture has no problem chowing down the bone chunks, too. But it's all about getting that precious marrow makes up 70% of the scavenger's diet. And while the older bone busters make it look easy, it takes young bearded vultures up to seven years to perfect their aim. But the more they learn to hit the spot, the more they can consume. According to legend, Greek playwright Aeschylus was killed when a bearded vulture mistook his bald head for a rock and brained him with a tortoise. Whether or not that actually happened, one thing is true. When in Africa, watch the skies before these bone-dropping, gut-busting bombardiers get the drop on you. there is a much hungrier beast out there. One that puts all previous killer carnivores to shame. Don't miss three hours of back-to-back -back ferocious action on Fierce Wednesday, tomorrow night from 8.40 on Nat Geo Wild. A land of beauty and incredible contrasts. A mysterious terrain teeming with rare wilderness. Experience the magic of Asia with breathtaking high-definition splendor. As we uncover some of the rarest, strangest, and most exotic creatures on Earth in Asia's Hidden Paradise. Friday nights at 9.35 on Nat Geo Wild. Let's rescue fins by joining Nat Geo Wild to save the sharks. There are an estimated 360 identified shark species, but only 12 species are associated with rare attacks on humans. Yet you have a 1 in 3.7 million chance of ever being attacked by a shark, but an estimated 100 million sharks or more are killed for their fins yearly. This October, National Geographic Channel is ready for a challenge. Zeb Hogan is back to search for the world's largest freshwater fish. From a goldfish the size of a cow to a carnivorous catfish, we head deep into the wild for some heart-pumping encounters. Brand new season of Monster Fish. Think your job's hard? Join football legend and Hollywood tough guy, Vinny Jones, as he goes head-to-head -head with men who handle some of the hardest jobs in Russia. Get ready for some serious competition in... Vinnie Jones, Russia's toughest ever. Could Mars have ever been suitable for life? NASA rover Curiosity is here to bring us the answer. Join us as we reveal the dynamic new picture of Mars with inside access to spectacular discoveries in Ultimate Mars Challenge. National Geographic Channel is ready for a challenge this October. In the far reaches of the world, lurk bloodthirsty monsters. Look at the size of them. Terrorizing villages. They save their lives. Killing livestock. I've heard accounts of a monstrous beast. It's one man's quest. My name is Richard Terry. To confront them. Hot Ow. Whoa. Man versus monster. Next.
on Nat Geo Wild. We've seen how massive mouths and giant stomachs lead to some larger than life hunger. But one of the biggest, deadliest appetites in the animal kingdom comes from one of its smallest members. It's the common shrew. Found in fields and gardens across the northern hemisphere. And while it may not look very intimidating, beneath that unassuming fur beats the heart of one insatiable killer. In fact, that killer heart beats an astonishing 1,300 times per minute, creating one of the most hyperactive metabolisms in nature. It takes a lot of fuel to keep this motor running, and a heightened sense of smell that can detect prey hiding underground. But just how hungry is this tiny mammal? Incredibly, the shrew must eat nearly its entire body weight each and every day just to survive. That means if prey is scarce, it dies. If it oversleeps, it dies. If it misses just one meal, it can die. The shrew is not going to let that happen. In the snow, underwater, anywhere there might be a life-sustaining meal, the shrew is on the hunt. And almost nothing is off the menu. An encounter with a stinging scorpion would make most animals turn tail, but not the shrew. it as fast as he can so he can start sniffing out the next meal <coughs> and when it comes to the shrew the smaller they are the hungrier they get <laughs> the pygmy shrew one of the smallest mammals on the planet must consume up to three times its body weight every day that's like a 175 pound man having to eat over 2,000 quarter pounders each and every day. Almost 90 an hour. But shrews aren't the only hungry predators lurking in the garden. A garter snake is on the prowl. If it can snag a big meal like the shrew, it won't have to worry about finding food for days. As it turns out, it won't have to worry about finding food ever again. The snake is too slow, and the shrew too hungry. The end comes quick for the much larger reptile. But for the shrew, there's no end in sight. No end to its hunger, anyway. With only so many scorpions and snakes to go around, the shrew must protect its hunting grounds fiercely, especially against other shrews. These two will duke it out until one finally gives in. And to the victor, go the spoils. Never slow down. Never stop hunting. Keep eating. Always. This is the unspoken mantra of the shrew. A tiny little mammal with one giant killer hunger.
In the far reaches of the world, lurk bloodthirsty monsters.